Now this has been curated as a solitude jazz, okay? Um, so that you can um, find some time for yourself uh, to reflect, uh, to really soak into life. Uh, so these are the still keeping uh, cocktail tomato. So it's 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 uh, so the, let's see the dimension, okay? So the, like you see, so it's bigger than the cherry tomatoes, smaller than uh, even the uh, S tomatoes or M tomato, right? So so you got all the different sizes, and what's lovely about it is you see it's it's in a truss. It's a little petite truss. It could be a bigger truss tomato, but you know. Um, we curated this so that you get three, three of these and two of these, and it's just perfect. It's pesticide free, so uh, and you can look up on the website www.thekindgrower.com, or you can scan the QR code uh, to find out more. Uh, the solitude jazz range is essentially for workplace or for outdoors. Okay, just like sometimes um, that my solitude is actually at my work table um, because I actually work from home uh, quite a bit um, so that's how I basically uh, find some time for myself uh, guess who's coming to have breakfast with me haha <sighs> it's Ray I have to keep her in the back because I keep losing her blaster and I keep the lightsaber keeps breaking so I fixed it a few times, but here you go. Bum, 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 bum. Ray comes to check out on the silky pink cocktail tomato and the cocktail cucumber. So these are the co two cocktail ranges. Mm. It's actually so tasty that I I don't actually need um, to have it with anything else. But that's me. I've gotten really good used to tasting um, food um, without much uh, dressing or anything okay so I, I like I like to be able to eat and nibble like this uh, I like I like nibbling mm, it's sweet mm -hmm. okay. so if you like um, You can kind of pair it with, um, you know, granola. I, I love granola because it's, it's crunchy. It's a great breakfast food. I get my cereals in. Oh, this is on the sweet side. But, oops. Okay. Mm. I like to try. Um, see, it's got the almond flake in there. So when you're working your your plate, again, remember your neuroplasticity, your bilateral co coordination and you know like what I call the micro problem solving. You know where to put this, where to move this about, where to chase your your seeds, your runniness. All this is actually developing um, um, the, the, the complexity in your neurons, right? Development. And that's good. Okay. So that's what is like um, laying the foundations for um, creativity. But don't quote me again because I'm not a neuroscientist, but that's what I think. Um, after having read some stuff, but you know, and I just something like to my own life. Oops, can you see that cat there? So, ding ding! Hey, sounds! Yeah, you gotta play. You gotta play. You gotta play with life, right? Life is really fun. So you got the sounds. You got all the different diversity of colors, um, textures. Ooh, look. Oh, of course. Mm. I really, really don't need um, anything with this. Okay, I'm gonna try a little bit of um, um, oats with this. Okay. Um, you know, even oats, I, I actually, so imagine if you're cooking a bowl of oats, um, you know, these things can, can be harvested like that, it's much easier. You use the fingers, right? And then you're pinching and you're 
you know you want to hold something steady you hold it with your fork here and then you just slice right on, right down the middle right okay? oh, look at that okay but if you don't like this you know if you like it you just if you don't, if you're not fast you chomp it up if you don't like it you just slice it up like that okay some people don't like it some people don't i'm not fast about it sometimes i'm not fast if i'm on i'm on the road sometimes i'm fast and, and i think it's just out of habit because it's actually quite fine right but never mind just to say i'm fast today okay? i'm fast and like imagine if you're cooking this pot of uh, oats and then you're adding it with stirring it with some cooked tomatoes but why do that when you can have it like fresh like this just mix it in mm. Mm. It's actually really good because that's that freshness and the sweet and sourness and you know this juice is actually making like turning into like, a gravy for mm. I put I use a grain because I, I don't want it all too acidic right so I put some oats but it's actually because I felt like eating oats today if you wanted a savory breakfast and maybe a little bit of um, tuna salmon you know egg something like that but this is clearly going to be my brunch already because it's getting really huge mm. see so i am liking this two texture together really really liking it so i would recommend this silky pink cocktail okay mm. Okay, so this has a lot more taste and of course it's from the can and but I did still use it because you know when you're traveling and you're on the move, sometimes you just have to adapt. It was, uh, I, 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 mm. okay, that's a lot. It's very intense. Um some people like to stir fry their tuna a little bit. Um you know, yeah, it, it does have a really strong um tuna taste. But um, I like it. It works for me. So, you hey, know, this juiciness is just, I can't get enough of it. Uh -huh. So, you see, I put my oats there. Mmm, yummy. And I'm planning everything, right? So, see? So, I couldn't cut through the um, dronola, so I just. Um, I just use my fingers to break it up. Huh? It's your own food you're eating, so once um, you start your meal, make sure you clean your hands before and clean your hands after. Right? Then during the meal, you can eat. And um, in safety, and just be aware, don't touch other things while you're eating. Huh? Mm. Mm. See? Mm. So it's like... um. Having a little bit of um, oatmeal porridge, but it's all fresh. Mm. And it's not mushy. Uh -huh. and, and you get to um, basically exercise your neuroplasticity as well. Mm. Neuroplasticity just means your brain can grow, your brain can modify, your brain can adapt. Okay. Well, it's just growth actually. It needs to prune as well. Mm. So yeah, dynamically engaging life. Of course, you know, actually, I piped in some music for you, but if not, I'm playing my music to myself and um, I'm just having fun. Mm. Mm. I'll tell you why this is such a good combi, okay? Mm. The granola, the granola is crunchy. There's a bit of sugar. Okay, I'm gonna buy the low sugar version. And this tuna is intensely intense, right? And then this kind of like um, oats gives it like a base. Now, like I said. You just treat this as if you are at the at the kitchen table, right? Making a salad and chopping all this up. But 
do it while you're eating. So you see, I've cut down the processes, right? So learn to cut, learn to slice well, but you know, you know, slice into small pieces. So when you're doing this at your while you're eating, it slows down your eating as well. Okay. Now this has a really nice texture to it. This uh, cocktail because it's juicy. Uh -huh. Okay, this is the silky pink. I actually have this espionage theme about this, the James Bond. And this is actually one of my favorite character. Uh, the silky pink. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I can't, can't really remember what I named this uh, cocktail cucumber, but <coughs> I'm sure the story will emerge. So look out for it again. You suddenly see spies everywhere in the land of pesticide-free vegetables. It's, it's really just us trying to make a plate of salad or a bowl of salad on the spot like this. Okay? Then, see? Now, you mash it up if you like or if you don't. I you know, oatmeal porridge on the run. Mm. Mm. Signing up. 